What's up, A Club? This is Slow GLS here, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to do the independent fog light mod on your XD XD2. Now, don't get me wrong; the instructions on on the uh, website here are very good. Um, I just figure, you know, I ran a few things I wasn't sure of that I would make a video for. So, if you just go to the do-it-yourself section here of the website, scroll up here. It's uh, project number, do we saw project 59, fog lights part one, removing low beam on requirement. It's very, very easy to do, guys. So what you're going to want to do, as it says in the DIY, is you're going to take all the shrouds here. There's three screws on the bottom here. Super easy to get out, not real hard. You're going to probably want to leave your tilt lever down because you're going to be moving the uh, wheel up and down quite a bit. And then uh, what you want to do here is when you get it all off, you're going to see a bunch of wires under here. This is the one for the, f for the headlights and fog light switch. And this one over here, so the wipers, don't mess with the wipers, okay? We're not doing off of the wipers. Just take this connector right here, take it down, put out a comb. Comes down. Now, when you bring back the shroud or all the stuff here, the electrical tape and whatnot, this wire here and this wire here are going to be looped together. All you have to do take wire cutters, cut that wire in half. This right here is no longer useful. Okay? And then what you're going to do on the back of the connector here is this other wire right here that you cut, you're going to look for a black ground wire right here where I have my finger on. Cut that from here or you can solder it in, but what I did is I just took a butt-end connector and I cut it together. You're going to take the other, this pin right here and this black one and you're going to splice them together. And by that, what you're doing is you're looping the ground together. Okay, so splice it and you know, crimp here, crimp here, or if you want to solder it in and make it look a little cleaner, you can do that. Then what I did is when I got this one and I got it connected, I reconnected the battery. I did a test. It works on um, with the parking lights on. So you have to engage the parking lights and then the fog light switch works completely independently. The fog lights will turn on and off with key with just accessory or key on engine off or the engine running. It's completely the fog lights are one hundred percent completely independent from the headlights at this point. Um, I could go farther and have them, you know, independent at all times with no power going to um, the switch, but I don't feel it necessary. Um, this is good enough. At least I can drive around when it's dusk out and uh, throw my fog lights on with the uh, city lights. But like I said again, cut this, this wire. These two yellow wires are looped together. Cut them in half and connect them to the black ground wire and you're good to go. That is literally all you have to do. And then you can run, and then what you can do is you can run um, parking lights and fog lights at any time you want. All right, guys, if you have any more questions, let me know, or otherwise go to the do-it-yourself page. It's very easy to do. Talk to you later.